Jurors in the Jam Master Jay murder trial once again taken back in time Wednesday, this time through original crime scene photos of the hip hop legend's Jamaica Queen studio, along with revealing testimony from a key prosecution witness who was in the room that night in October 2002. Uriel Tony Rincon, a close friend of the star whose real name was Jason Mizell, told jurors, quote, the front door of the studio comes open and that's when I see Mr. Jordan. He walked directly toward Jay and and gave him half a handshake and at the same time that's when I heard a couple of shots and then I just saw Jay just fall. Rincon then pointed to and identified the pair of defendants in the courtroom, alleged trigger man Carl Jordan, Mizell's godson, and Ronald Washington, another longtime friend. Mizell suffered a fatal gunshot wound to the head at point blank range. Rincon was shot in the leg. He testified Jordan and Washington then fled to the studio, headed for a rear fire exit. Quote, I just couldn't fathom. I couldn't put it together. I was scared and couldn't believe who I saw. Jordan Washington and a third man, who will be tried separately, are all accused of murdering Mizell over a blown coke deal. Under direct questioning, Rincon explained that fear of retribution against him and his family led to waiting some 15 years before he went on the record with investigators about who shot him and killed his friend Mizell. But on cross-examination, one of Jordan's defense attorneys pointed out at least six occasions over the years, from 2002 through 2000. 2016, when Rincon repeatedly failed to identify Jordan as the shooter to both law enforcement and at least one news reporter, one of Mizell's friends, reacting to Wednesday's testimony. When you do dirt, you get dirt. They're guilty. I hope, I hope they will be being punished. But that hurts me when I think about my boy Jay morning, noon, and night. This trial is set to continue tomorrow.